Hello, hello, and welcome. I have been at a state sale over an hour early. It is under 40 degrees in Florida, but I saw some pretty high value collectibles in their pictures. I'm hoping they are not priced too high. They also have tons of jewelry. I saw tons of coach purses. So I think this one is gonna be a really good one. Let's, we're gonna hurry, wait in line, and then we'll go inside. All right, so I'm on the carport and we cannot buy any of this. We cannot pick it up, we cannot hold it. We can pick it up and look at it, but we have to put it back. And we have over an hour to wait. So the jewelry was out on the carport so we could see what was there. But again, we could not buy it. They were not ready to open. And they're very strict that you could not hold anything at all. And I appreciate that for those people that get there when the sale starts. So we are just looking because when they do open at nine, I would like to have some idea of what I would like to grab. And all of this jewelry you're seeing is sterling, except for what's in that box. And I was talking to him about it. Those are actually rings that are marked sterling that are not. That's why it's super important to test. And I really appreciate that they did take the time to test these and those that were not sterling were put in the box. This is an amazing Sajin pendant. Gorgeous, gorgeous pendant. I put it back. All right, we're going to peruse one more time. We still cannot buy. We are just looking <laughs> before, before the sale opens. They were still pricing stuff. And you can see how much jewelry. Look at this. I, I need to get this. This is a sage and turquoise necklace that is probably worth over $100. All right, my friends. We now can grab things. So I grabbed a jade necklace. I will tell you because the sale just started... A lot of stuff was already grabbed just that fast and it was under a minute. And so I had a lot I wanted on that first table, but because I couldn't get to it, I wanted to go to the others. And this is not in fast forward. This is how fast I am actually moving. So I grabbed a peridot necklace. You're going to see a lot of kind of snatch and grab because I wanted to get as much as I could of what I really wanted. And I will show you the jewelry all laid out at the end because right now I am filling my hands with jewelry because there's there probably I think we're about 20 or more people. I showed you my handful there. Um, and if I didn't grab fast, I was going to miss out on quite a bit. So there's that pretty one on my finger. I was trying I was trying to show you the best I could. And you can see how fast I'm going. It, I feel like I put this in fast forward, but I did not. And the rings are $10 unless they're DJOY and then they're $15. And... I ran into, there was a turquoise one, there's another turquoise one. I, I ran into four or five of you that watched me there, so it was really, really nice to meet everybody at the sale. I had so, so much fun. Now, there, she's giving me a bag. You can see how much jewelry I dropped into that bag. And those bracelets were mixed between sterling and not. I did I did miss a couple. The sterling guy there got them. He has a really good eye. And he got a couple of the other bracelets. He was faster than me. Now, he was nice enough to give me the matching Sajin pendant to the ring I got. Absolutely amazing. I was looking for it and I asked him and he said yes, he had it. And he brought it over to me. So, if you are watching this, thank you again. I really, I really appreciate that. All right, we're going to go inside now because it, what I really came for was inside, but I could not 
miss the opportunity to grab first pick of that jewelry. So I knew where what I wanted was. So I knew exactly where to go. And you can see there were a lot of people in here. Again, this is not even five minutes into the sale. So this is what I came for. This is Mark Roberts Fairies. They are elf fairies. If you are not familiar with them, they sell for around 40 upwards of $200. I was hoping they would be at $20 or less. Unfortunately, they were at 30. But that is not the end of the story. We are going to come back to them and possibly get all of them because a lot of them are valuable. The big ones I had priced at 155 and those are only worth about 200 so I definitely passed on those. But the smaller ones were close to what I wanted to pay. Now, here on the table, there is a lot of Jim Shore. There is no signal. Some Jim Shore is not worth much, and some is worth a lot. This one was priced at 35 Without being able to look it up, I was not comfortable paying that much. And this is a gorgeous horsehair pottery. This one they had at 15 I think it's probably worth about 50 So for me, I really would want to be about $10. And I am still in like super fast mode. I probably should have slowed down the video. But this is how fast I'm really going in this estate sale. I wanted to see as much as I could at first. And I am going fast and you will see... Because I'm going so fast, I do go back to pretty much every area once I had done a once over. So in the once over, I'm looking for stuff that I absolutely cannot miss. I don't want to take too much time in any area because I want to see every area before too many people get here. This really cute seagull trinket box I didn't open and it actually had a broken hinge. So... I ended up leaving that one behind once I got to check out and opened and saw that it was broke. Super cute little snowy owls, but they had them at $3 each. If they had been at two, I probably would have got those. And that was a little jade elephant. There were quite a few of those. That one I did pass on. Now here are jewelry boxes. They're wooden brass. They were $2 and $3. I think that's an excellent price on those. So I am going to go ahead and grab those as well. And we're going to go ahead and move along because when you get to an estate sale this early, you got to look in all the different sections and you got to look fast. And then you can go back. All right. You guys know about my Tumblr addiction. I also have a pen addiction. So I'm sitting here telling myself, Kat, you do not need more pens. I have so many pens and I think that's a nurse thing. <laughs> but I put them down. I put them down. I left the pens on the desk. Now up here, there were a few little trinkets. This little turtle caught my eye, but I think he's actually newer. So we are going to put him back. Oh, and I didn't say it at the beginning. The jewelry I bought is going to be for sale and whatnot this Sunday. So go bookmark that. And if you're not signed up for the whatnot app, live selling app, you can get $15 free if you use my link. And I will put that down in the description. I am looking at the fairies again because this is why I drove an hour was for those fairies. I really really want those fairies now I miss this cloisonne frog I was here twice already and I miss that little cloisonne frog but I got him that time and now we're gonna check out there are some teacups here and in another section of the house and I didn't see any in the pictures that I think were high value but I am definitely going to take a look at them and see if I see anything. And there's so much stuff. They had to move stuff outside. They couldn't get everything inside the house. That's why all of that jewelry was out front. These I have to get because Dalton absolutely loves these poppets. If you guys don't know, they're the little like snap pops you throw on the ground and they pop. 
They're like little pop rocks. Um, Dalton absolutely loves those and sparklers too. Those were both a dollar, so no brainer on getting those. I love those hummingbird feeders. I probably should have got those for myself, and I didn't. Let's see, but we're really bad about keeping our bird feeders filled. Is anybody else like that? All right, lots of silverware, nothing catching my eye. Again, still trying to go fast. I still have back rooms I have not been to yet. Now, they have a ton of beach towels. A lot of these are vintage, but they're actually priced at four and five dollars. Typically, I like to see these at two to three dollars. So I'm only going to get, if I think they are worth $25 or more. Now this is an Atlantis. This one's really big. I can just see by how it's folded. It's also very nice quality. So this one I think we're going to grab. It's actually an Atlantis Resort Dolphin K towel. So I think it's worth picking up. And we're going to put it in the bag. I am not putting anything that is breakable in the bag. Look at these cute little owls. We're going like super fast. These little owls are were only a dollar each and they are like the cutest little planters. So I'm gonna get those, but I can't put them in the bag cause they could break. I was just double checking to make sure I didn't miss any towels. Now I will tell you, I, I was thinking about going back on half off day, but I am actually overloaded on inventory right now. So I don't think I'm going to. If you are watching this, half price day is tomorrow. The sale is in Donellan, Florida. It is by Justice League Estates. So if you see stuff you like, it will be going on tomorrow. This video is coming out super fast after I recorded it. I love this little frog. But at $5, he's only worth about $15. So I probably would only pay about $3 for him. All right. Now we have to go find the other rooms and see what we have not seen before. But first, we're going to look here again. Now, this, my friends, is probably the highest profit I picked up. This is $8. There was actually only one sold on eBay for $99, which is great. But I looked it up on Worth Point and they have been selling repeatedly for $250. So whoever sold that one for $99 did themselves a disservice. I expect to get $250 for that. And I love that bird carving, but they had it at $60, which is just a little too much. All right. If you do not know, Turapur. These three filters sell for 20 bucks. Those were marked at $2. So I picked those up and we got to give them the $250 kitty cats. I had no idea, but that is a Jim Shore and Walt Disney collab. So that is what made me get that one versus not getting other Jim Shore pieces. All right, we still have to go in the back room. They have a bunch of smudge sticks and a really cool globe. And let's go in and see. And here are all the coach purses. I was worried somebody had like grabbed them all when I didn't see them in the other room. But now I see they are here. And they are very, very nice coach bags. I like this one. This one they had at 50 and the only one that is sold on eBay in the last 90 days sold for $50. So obviously as a reseller, I would lose money if I picked that up and we're gonna have to leave it. But again, on half price day, that one still wouldn't be worth it. But like these wallets, they have at 15, I thought they were at 10. Those on half off day would be good buys because those are sell for about 40 to $50. So at $10, I think they would be good pickups. And this fossil was at eight, but I think that one's only worth about 20. So that one we will skip as well. And it looks like she's got some trinket boxes up there on the dresser. She's just now pricing. And I love buying trinket boxes. So I told her I might grab as she's pricing. And she said that would be perfectly fine. If you know what this is, this little deer, let me know. I did not know this brand. 
So I put that one back. There were a couple of them with that little deer tag. All right. So she's got through some of these. She told me to come and look. Look at this amazing butterfly ring holder. We are going to get that. I will tell you uh, one of my employees did take that one. Uh, the peacock. Look at this butterfly trinket box. How amazing is that? Heart enamel trinket box. $3, guys. I love, I love, love, love trinket boxes. The little peacock ring holder. Here's another one. And you see I'm still going fast. That one wasn't priced yet, so she put a price on it for me. And there are these cute little brass, I don't know what they are, but they were a dollar. So I got them. I'm trying to see if I missed anything else. I got a jade elephant. This one looks like it was newer, so we're going to leave that one. And now I think we need to go back and go over some stuff. We're going to go back to the jewelry. Now that it's kind of thinned out a little bit. Look at this beautiful opal and sterling silver bracelet. I'm going to grab that one. Let's see what we see here. And the, the D-Joy rings, and you will see, I did pick up quite a few. They were $15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start those over on whatnot at $25, which I think is about half of what they're worth they're worth a minimum of 50 and so we will be selling them on whatnot starting at 25 dollars some of them like the laramar and the opal are probably worth quite a bit more so i think 25 dollars will be our starting price look at this mystic topaz we're gonna get that one Look at laramar sterling earrings absolutely amazing so Again, I am going to show you this all at the end because I'm grabbing really fast. So you will, you will get a synopsis at the end. Look at this tanzanite. Tanzanite is becoming harder and harder to find and it's that beautiful purple color. So I have the tanzanite tray in front of me and I'm definitely going to grab a few out of here. And I'm looking to see if they were DJoy or not. All right, we're going to go over here. There's stuff on, on the tree. Look at this gorgeous sterling and garnet. This bracelet, and it is a DJoy, so I did have to pay, I think, 15 for it. But absolutely beautiful sterling and garnet. We're going to see what else is on this tree, because I feel like maybe some people missed that it was sterling hanging on the tree beautiful vintage carved mother of pearl butterfly set in sterling silver on a sterling chain we are going to get that one and i see a peridot hanging back here it's on that top right i'm pulling it down look at how beautiful this is it looks like she had this price at 95 dollars. we are definitely going to grab that one as well there it is. I can't see, so I have to put stuff like right in my eyes to be able to read it. All right, look at this rose quartz that was in this grab bag. That was a great necklace. And ignore my puppy dog barking. Dalton is out in the yard playing with the dogs. Let's see what else we see here. So the grab bags were kind of hard, and they didn't mind if you looked in them. It just made it harder to find things in them. Here's another gorgeous rose quartz necklace. Those were $5, and I think that's a great price for very, very thick, heavy rose quartz. Now, that one looked like newer, kind of lower-end costume. And this one is made to look like Millefiori, but the quality is just not there. So I am going to leave that one behind as well. Here are some more grab bags. Now there are sterling earrings in here and I think I found some pretty impressive ones. I actually looked through every single one of these bags. All right, we're gonna check out the other section with teacups here. And 
the gentleman in the blue shirt is actually a viewer of mine and he was trying to look them up and there was no signal in here so it was really hard but this one caught my eye this is Shelly Rosebud they had six dollars on the set and this one is worth about 45 to 50 so not one of those high dollar ones but I think worth it at the six dollars and my my I was showing my viewers I told them this is probably the only one that I think I had looked at the pictures I really wasn't seeing any that were catching my eye I did pick up a little china bowl there it's hard to see and we're gonna go over here I thought about getting those ottomans I will tell you they were worth about 40 to 50 but I think they would be too much of a pain in the butt to ship for that low of a price They've got such cute little knickknacks here. We'll see if we see anything. Mm, I don't see anything. Now, they do have all of this Lior gold over here, which is a Paris makeup. One sold at 75 but... They had $30, so that was a little more than I wanted to pay. All right, we're going to check out the teacups he was checking out. So these are actually Royal Albert and Coalport. This one is worth about $20. The Royal Albert green and gold and blue and gold were only worth about $15 to $20. And this Royal Albert was also only worth about $20. So... Not all pretty teacups are worth money, guys. You have to look them up. Very important to do that. So I only got one out of all those. And I think we are going to go check out. Don't go anywhere because I am going to show you everything I got, including all of the jewelry. All right. I spent well over $1,000 way more than I've spent at an estate sale probably ever and I got a lot of jewelry so I'm gonna show you the jewelry at the very end a lot of it I was grabbing because that was the first place I went and we will do a whatnot sale on the jewelry I did have to pay $15 a ring for the DJOY but I got a lot of tanzanite which is absolutely gorgeous and a lot of that goes for like 75 80 bucks and I will show you everything else I got Shelly teacup was a really good find I bought all all the Mark Roberts fairies, the smaller ones. I didn't get the bigger ones, but I got all the smaller ones. And yeah, let's let's take a look at everything. I'll throw that jewelry in at the end and let you know when it will be for sale on whatnot. All right, so we got lots of Mark Roberts fairies. Most of these run about a 50% sell-through rate. I did not look them up individually. There was no signal. I did get a little bit of a deal because I bought all of them and I found look a Shelly three-piece set rosebud that one I got for six this is probably one of the the highest profit items and I'm going to show the jewelry after we show all this so this is Jim Shore but or actually it's not Jim Shore it's WDCC eight dollars um i think it is though with in conjunction with jim shore none listed five sold the last one sold for a hundred dollars i got it for six these cute little owl planters i only paid a dollar those are fake plants but there's real dirt i don't know what they had going on and then i got all of these cute little trinket boxes a little cloisonne frog look at the cloisonne ring holder the little trinket boxes I got these two little matching ones. I got these for Dalton, the poppets and sparklers. Turapure, if you do not know, sells high. So one of these was priced at two, one was at six. So they did give me them both for two. The two boxes should go for about $45. Uh, vintage Atlantis towel. And then I picked up this vintage Nike soccer shirt. And we, I got a lot of jewelry. Um, there is the, the fairies. This is probably about half of what I spent. So about $500 you're seeing here. And I'll show you guys a sneak peek. Look at all of these 
Le Creuset I got from an online auction. They just happened to be here. And these amazing Navajo stools. Look at these. So we got those from an online auction as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jewelry. We are going to have a jewelry sale this weekend. And you guys can let me know out of this or the jewelry. If you would like anything, you can email the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the jewelry. All right. So here is the jewelry. And I will be doing this on Whatnot this Sunday. I will pop a time up. I think around three, I'm not 100% sure. So definitely make sure you look. If you don't follow me on Whatnot, I'm going to put a code. You can get $15 for free. Beautiful. Look at those amethyst chunks. I might do some of the trinket boxes on that sale as well, if you're interested in those. These are all sterling rings. I think this is Mystic Topaz. We've got some Laramar turquoise beautiful tanzanite rings most of these are probably going to start at 25 dollars opals um, most are djoy i paid 15 so i'm not making hardly anything at 25 dollars and then look at these necklaces these are sterling most are djoy there's tanzanite this one is a sajin turquoise and then some more djoy opals look at this one it's almost like that mystic topaz as well there's some peridot Vintage Mother of Pearl with the Butterfly. This is a Sajin Sterling set. It has an adjustable Sterling ring. And there's some Peridot. Here is another Opal ring, Garnet, and some beautiful earrings. There's Tanzanite. There's Peridot. Look at these DeJoy Butterfly, Peridot, and Amethyst. Really, really pretty. I think this is Raw Sapphire and the blue. So definitely watch for the whatnot. If you're not a part, it is an app. You can live bid and we will be selling this plus some more sterling on Sunday afternoon. So bookmark that, sign up with our code so you can get the $15 for free and email me if there's anything you see, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. I will see you guys on the next one.